Iron refractory iron deficiency anemia is actually a disease that was discovered quite recently, in 2008. However, it is already mentioned in the textbooks of pathophysiology. Let's start by understanding the name. What does iron refractory mean? In French, refractor means resistant, which in turn comes from Latin, where refractarius means stubborn or obstinate. The name was formed based on the clinical characteristics of the disease, namely the lack of response to oral iron drugs. Okay, what else do we know about this condition? It's a rare metabolic disorder inherited in an autosomal recessive manner and it's caused by a mutation in the TMPRSS6 gene which encodes metriptase 2, which is a serine protease enzyme. This enzyme is involved in the regulation of haptidin. Since it's a congenital condition, anemia accompanies the patient throughout his or her life. To understand why the defect in the metriptase 2 gene causes anemia, let's delve into the pathophysiology. Metriptase 2 is synthesized in the liver cells, where it regulates the synthesis of hepcidin, which in turn regulates the iron metabolism in the body. The synthesis of hepcidin is initiated by the molecule named hemoglobin, which is located on the plasma membrane of the hepatocytes. Hemoglobin promotes hepcidin expression through the interaction of BMP proteins with specific receptors, they are called SMAD receptors, which are phosphorylated as a result of that interaction. After phosphorylation has occurred, SMAD binds to the SMAD4 mediator, and then the formed complex is transported to the nucleus where it acts as a transcription factor, regulating the transcription of genes, including the hemp gene, which encodes the haptidin. To prevent excessive haptidin production, the enzyme metriptase comes into play. It cleaves hemoglobin, thus disrupting the entire molecular pathway. Therefore, having a defective metriptase gene leads to unregulated overexpression of haptidin, which inhibits iron absorption from the intestine and its release from macrophages, ultimately reducing the iron level in the body. As a result, there's a disturbance in erythropoiesis in the bone marrow due to iron deficiency. Clinically, the situation presents as anemia ranging from mild to moderate and it depends on the individual expression of metriptase 2. Various variations of the genes have been described in scientific studies which determine the response to oral iron supplementation. Typically, lab results show hypochromic microcytic anemia, meaning that red blood cells are smaller than normal and have increased central paler. This indicated by low values of erythrocyte indices, such as MCH, MCHC, and MCV. Additionally, there are low levels of serum iron and low transferrin saturation, less than 5% compared to the normal range of 20 to 40%. Impaired iron absorption and utilization are observed. This condition is typically diagnosed in childhood as it is congenital. The symptoms are typical of iron deficiency anemia. And few words about treatment. The disease is chronic and requires repeated intravenous iron injections. Although there's a recommendation to start with oral iron supplementation along with vitamin C before initiating injections. This recommendation is supported by the fact that vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-heme iron 
which present in larger amounts in food. On the brush border of enterocytes in the small intestine, there's a reductase called duodenal cytochrome B, which converts non-heme iron into heme iron, uh, means in ferrous form, which is further absorbed by the divalent metal transporter. Vitamin C is necessary for this conversion to occur. Presumably, this mechanism increases iron absorption. However, all those mechanisms are not fully understood. In recent scientific studies, a good response has been described with hemoglobin levels returning to the normal range using this method. Even when the child showed a partial response to classical intravenous treatment. Unfortunately, this treatment is symptomatic and therefore when the medication is discontinued, anemia returns. Thanks for watching, I hope it was useful for you. Subscribe and leave your comments down below, I'll be cheerful to read all of them.